Hey guys, Felix here from Billet Labs, and welcome to the first part of our first documented monoblock PC build. So the idea is to develop a case throughout the build. Um, so there's going to be some product design and some PC building going on. Um, so I've got the parts laid out here that we're hoping to fit into this case, and I'll just take you through those now. So starting off with the motherboard, we've got an ITX board here. This happens to be a Strix Z690i, but we're really just going to be using this to build the case around, and it's likely we will switch it out um, before we do the final assembly of the build. In here, we currently have a 12900KS CPU, but again, that's kind of just to build around, and we'll likely swap that out for a 14900, um, just to really punish the monoblock as much as we can. Then we've got the 4090 Founders Edition card, the monoblock itself, of course. Um, so we've got the main block, the motherboard mount, and the GPU backplate. Uh, we're going to use a DDC pump just for size. This is an alpha cool one, but again, it's more of a placeholder than the final version. It's likely that we'll develop our own pump top over the course of the build, uh, machined in brass perhaps, um, because this is so unnecessarily big. Um, and again, we've got a radiator laid out, but we're not certain that we'll be using this one. This is a black ice Nemesis 280 mil uh, by 140 radiator, um, which we'll use if we can. We might have to go uh, smaller, but hopefully we can go bigger because we don't want to be thermal throttling these parts. We want to do a build that can fully utilize a 300 watt CPU and a 600 watt graphics card. So the first step is going to be to just lay all the parts out in the arrangement that we want them to be in the case. So we're going to kind of stack them up, use some spaces to space them out and kind of get them in the ideal uh, floating position that they should be in. Uh, and then we will use that as the basis to measure from and design our case around. So before we can consider the layout, we need to assemble our main piece, which is the the motherboard, CPU, monoblock, graphics card kind of block here. Um, so we're going to do that first. And the motherboard bracket just goes on the back like that. And then we put these standoffs on. This is just a dry install, so obviously I'm not doing any thermal paste. I'm not worrying too much about the washers that go under the standoffs. It's just to get the block the right dimensions to be able to plan around, essentially. So the block's in position. We're just going to put in these uh, M4 fixings here. Then the 4090. and the back plate. And again, during the proper install, there's washers and thermal pads, obviously, that go between all these layers. But for the sake of getting something the correct size to measure from, we don't need to worry about any of that yet. So, this is the assembled block. And obviously the largest piece of the build, well, I guess the radiator is actually bigger, but the most important piece of the build, let's say. So we have our pump, we have our radiator, which will have fans on, and we have our oh, power supply, I forgot the power supply. And we have our power supply. Uh, this is a Cooler Master 850, I think, V850. Um, again, not sure if we'll use this for the final build, but for the sake of designing the case, this will work fine. So, if we think about options of layouts, because we're designing the case from scratch, we really don't need to follow any established principles of where things go in cases. We can just hold things where we want them, hold them there, measure everything, and make it fit that. So, 
options are the block like this, the power supply and the pump by the side of it and then radiator and fans above. Another option would be a longer thinner design so power supply would be uh, maybe here pump here now that would be smaller I uh, can't really see that that well that is a smaller footprint that's a smaller overall size than the previous option um, another option would be this again like this but with the radiator and the fans to the side in a flat console kind of layout but it's then got quite a big footprint or if it's standing on its end it's going to be very tall or very deep so probably what we're going to go for is this layout and I like the idea of doing a externally cooled system so we fit all this in the smallest package we can and then you can link that up to whatever radiator system you want um, I have a cast iron house radiator at home which this would look quite cool plugged into um, but then we could always just have this floating on the top but the most important thing I think is to get the layout of these pieces finalized because this could be this could move anywhere in this orientation the pump is looking quite big here I think we're definitely have, gonna have to go for a custom uh, DDC pump top um, so I'm gonna spend a bit of time in CAD and see what I can come up with so here is what we have come up with. The basic idea is to do a, a case with no cooling, so an externally cooled case uh, that you can hook up to any radiator that you want to, but the case will contain the pump, the power supply, and the, the monoblock assembly. Um, the idea being that this will then be a really good base to build custom cases around. Um, so. I've modelled this up here and the overall dimensions are 340 millimetres uh, is the longest dimension by uh, 210 and the height is 81 millimetres. Uh, so volume wise that is what is 3.4 times 2.1 times 0.81? That is 5.78 litres. Um, so, yeah, like I said, that's, that's going to be a good basis to then build a custom case around. It's going to be very easy to add radiators and fans to the top of here. But the basic idea is you have the I.O. at the back, so your motherboard uh, I.O. here, the graphics card one floating above it. Um, you have an inlet and an outlet port which will be copper pipework coming out the back here and looking from the top um, we would have the the monoblock here the ITX board here the um, graphics card extending to about here and then the power supply and the pump here we're definitely going to need to make our own pump top to fit in this case um, and the whole thing will be machined from aluminium billets. So the top and the bottom plates um, would be, I think they're 5mm thick I made them. Yeah, so 5mm thick aluminium, machined aluminium plate, top and bottom bolted together uh, with this thick back piece and then these two uh, sort of standoffs here. Uh, the idea being that this would be so strong that you could potentially mount your monitor Oh, not mount it, you could sit your monitor on top of it. Um, there's no, there'll be no air vents on the top or the bottom. So you could, you could put whatever you want on top of the case 
uh, basically. So that's our general idea anyway. If we make it and it doesn't work for whatever reason, then we will obviously reassess. But that is what we're working towards at the moment. Uh, so um, we're going to 3D print, I think we'll 3D print these three pieces, so the, the in-between pieces, and I'll probably just get a piece of plywood from the top and bottom just for the, um, for the sake of prototyping it. And we will lay everything out and see how that looks in real life. Uh, be right back. So Dean has been busy on the 3D printer. We have our three printed prototype pieces. One, two, three. And we have two pieces of plywood, very poor quality plywood, uh, but cut to the right size, which is 340 by 210 millimeters. Um, so I'm going to mark out the holes, round off the corners a bit, and then uh, show you how this case will go together. Okay, we have our two pieces of plywood. Um, I've drilled and countersunk holes in each corner. I've rounded off the corners as well, which looks kind of garbage on this plywood, but for what we need it for, it's perfect. So I'm just gonna assemble um, half of it without the top on, and then we will take a look. And here is the layout, so you can see it from above and then from the side, you can see how flat that is. And the current idea I have in my head is we'll have, this is just some old spare copper pipes, we're gonna have like the sides open like this. So from every angle you see exposed copper pipes, we'll probably um, do a custom soldering job on the inlet and outlet pipes so that in one piece they kind of come out, go round the side to where the pump is. You can see why we need to make our own pump top. This is just unnecessarily huge. Um, but there's this nice gap through the middle to run pipes through. So the pipes would come out here. One will go to the pump, the other will keep going round here and the um, exit of the pump will then join it round the back here so from this side you'll also see two copper pipes kind of running down the side and then the pipes will there'll be an inlet and outlet here to join to whatever radiator you want to um, and I'm just going to screw the top piece on so you can see what it looks like all together Here it is. I don't know about you guys, but I think this has potential. And obviously these pipes in here are kind of nonsense. They're just to show what the 
back could look like. Just a little bit of copper and brass poking out the back. Uh, yeah, this is 5.8 litres. And even though it's externally water-cooled, this particular iteration of it, there's obviously nothing stopping us having a kind of floating radiator above it. Um, because we're going to be using hardline copper, that also can double as a support. So we could have these pipes coming out here and you know, mechanically holding this radiator up here and just another little support on the other end. Um, that's just an idea, lots of ideas, but I think this is a good basis to start from. And that is it for part one. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry if the microphone quality is not very good. We haven't really invested in a proper filming setup yet. Um, this is our first kind of video in, in this format, you know, long form kind of YouTube format rather than um, vertical Instagram reels. Uh, so we really appreciate any feedback you've got. Um, we're looking forward to seeing this made out of metal rather than plastic and plywood. Uh, we're looking forward to working on the pump top as well as some other little bits. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure when we'll be back for part two, but we will definitely be back for part two and continue this build. So thanks very much for watching.